pleasure. I don't know if uh, now we just started, but uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware uh, of the risk in the market and as and uh, try to stay on a sim as long as needed before you use a real money. This is a serious matter uh, trading. What we are doing here, uh, we are sharing our signals. Uh, we're not collecting any names. We're not collecting emails. We're not collecting money. Doing this hard time uh, with the traders, uh, we we are just sharing uh, the signals with uh, with the, the public. And if you want to follow those signals, uh, remember you are at your own risk and try to follow those signals uh, on a sim. Um, I don't know how long we, we can uh, keep doing this, but for the last two months, we've been uh, going every day, except Monday for private members. But we go every day live at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. And I will try to stay as long as I can, uh, uh, trying to give a free education, especially for those guys, they auto trade. Uh, we're trying to teach how uh, and when you need to use your auto trade and when you need to step back and not use your auto trade. Just a second before I get slammed with a lot of messages. So it's a strictly uh, educational and uh, if you can use it, you're very welcome to it. And uh, if you think this, this is nothing for you, we wish you the best and happy trading. During those years, we have find out that trader, we run, we ran many years uh, trading rooms, trying to teach how to trade and all this. Uh, some uh, got it, some did not. And uh, so uh, that's why we decided to come out with a system that does not require a lot of optimization, don't need any optimization and uh, using a signal based only and not to have the trader be in charge with his trade. Uh, some of the traders emotionally cannot handle that. And plus you have to have an experience. So we came out with a with a three different system you're looking at that can help the trader um, identify what's going on in this market. At 9.30 today, the market went up and uh, with the new signals and uh, we nailed the target, then it did go down, we nailed the target and now the, the market just sitting on the side. And um, we have a lot to cover today, but uh, really it was a lot of movement from 9.30 to 10 o'clock, the market went up long and short and long and short and then now it's just uh, the water is a bit calm. For the ones that are new, we have a market analyzer here. And uh, uh, this chart here right below this market analyzer, in a way they are the same system, but on the market analyzer is a very strictly entry price, target, and how many ticks you are away from uh, your entry signal. And then on the pullback re-entry, we give you the numbers. And then you have a new signals plot in here. There is a sound system, but I I just hate sound in the, in the trading because otherwise you're gonna sit in all day long hitting the same music all day long, you get bored with it. So, and then you have the market analyzer uh, on the Forex It's the same story. You have an entry direction uh, an entry price, target, a uh, trailing stops. The things is on the chart uh, is a bit different because uh, is updating the entries and the target constantly. And uh, we will be covering that uh, uh, today. 
on the market analyzer we are using one contract on the auto trade we are using two contracts most of the time doing those session from the previous sessions and today and tomorrow you will see good days and a bad days you will see good trades and a bad trades and um, up and down constantly every single day there is a new things in the market we do not hide anything here when the market is sideways you will see it when the market is not making money you will see it when the market is making money you will see it so those are the price action on the two market analyzer and this blue chart here then we have the market analyzer uh, i'm sorry this market blue color analyzer those are the scalpers we use one scalper uh, market price and one market uh, uh, one uh, market analyzer with a uh, limited price and then uh, what we do we use every day the same time frame uh, we use one minute and 150 takes uh, and uh, whatever the up the performance uh, you will see it right front of you and you will see some instruments making money and you will see some instruments will not make money uh, uh, the the scalpers of course you can use all kind of different um, time frame you're not committed to the one minute and 150 takes but for the last few years uh, we've been using one minute and 150 takes uh, and uh, we like it to stay on the one minute and 150 takes but does not mean those are the best performance uh, we have some traders using 200, 288 takes uh, 244 takes they are using two minutes and three minutes but for us because we started a few years ago uh, on a one minute and 150 it takes so we're gonna stay on the same principle we don't want to confuse anyone we don't want to use a Renko bar one day, ticks chart one day, and, uh, uh, you know, whatever is going on. So we are strictly using one minute for conservative and 150 ticks uh, for a little bit aggressive trading. This is your 150 ticks. Uh, so it depends on the market movement. Sometimes you have the one minute outperforming. Uh, the 150 takes and sometimes your 150 takes uh, outperforming the one minute. Uh, the question is uh, which one to use and which one is. I am a conservative trader and I prefer to be a conservative uh, 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 on the conservative side and I care less for the amount of money. What is most important it is the consistency in the trading is not the, the the amount again in any kind of trading it's not the amount of money as long as you're you're not going into the red for today uh is irrelevant and i will be highlighting those information today uh it is more important to be consistent than to be um uh, chasing the numbers, you know, and uh, this is where uh, most of the the traders or the automated trading they they go after the numbers. They don't go after the consistency. And the last is uh, the swing trading here on the uh on the ninja trader controller here we have the swing trading so we have three different system in in that what you are uh, looking at is the price action the scalping and you are looking at the uh, swing trading and you can see immediately on the swing trading the nasdaq has outperformed even the dax uh, doing uh, those uh, lately in 2018, I uh, have been looking at the NASDAQ, which I never did before. And uh, I have, I mean, I have looked at the NASDAQ before, but I never took the NASDAQ really seriously. And uh, this is a new signal on the NASDAQ. I apologize. I 
I didn't see the new signal on the NASDAQ. I was busy talking. Uh, today I will be covering how to look at consistency and not looking at uh, uh, at just the numbers and um, and uh, we had a lot of email yesterday because I was covering about the management with the DAX and I will be covering. Also, uh, there is a lot of questions about the uh, the DAX, why I like the DAX and why I prefer to do the DAX in the morning. Uh, but um, I didn't have time to control the NASDAQ. Uh, the, the system here on the price action comes with the three different uh, system. It's a full automated ATM and an ATM strategy. I prefer an ATM because I can uh, make, uh, I can decide if I wanna exit on the target or extend the, the timing on the target. Okay, on the one minute I see there is, no trades on the ES, this is funny. Uh, I will look at it, why there is no trade on the ES. The ones uh, yesterday we were uh, covering, there is nothing to trade right now on the market analyzer, the chart, there is nothing to trade. So uh, we'll keep our eye on, um, there is an ES trade uh yeah there is a new signal on the es let's cover this one here because most of you trade the es and um, then uh, we will um, uh, we have a new entry signal on the es it was 86 target 85.25 all right When you are using the fully automated to trade, uh, the full automated to trade is, is uh, gonna be right at the target and here is your target. For me, when I'm using the ATM, I, I, I like to extend those targets and uh, look at it visually, but you don't have to do that. Uh, you, can, um, uh, you can just leave it at the target uh, on the market analyzer, okay, we have a, a new signal on the YM. Uh, the entry price is uh, 6015, uh, target uh, 5958. A new signal on the YM. It seems like today I'm having a problem with the net. It's taking a lot. <laughs> You see, if you notice now, I don't want to get out of uh, the target. I want, I'm going to extend it a little bit. This is the, the pleasure with the with the ATM that um, I can extend it and uh, decide when I need to exit out of that trade. But uh, based on the last signal uh, to the target, uh, this is uh, your target on the market analyzer, if I was you, I will follow the market analyzer because I have a lot of charts in here. We are 13 ticks in that trade and we have 76 ticks in the uh, NASDAQ and nine ticks on the, uh, on the YM. I'm trying to get both of charts in here so you can chase the YM and the ES. Uh, if we notice uh, here, uh, the ES is uh, struggling with uh, this uh, support line. This is a heavy support line and followed by a reversal. 
So this is what, what I like about the ATM, that the decision is up to me if I wanted to close that trade on a 300 or I'm gonna be taking my chances. And now look, we have a new target on the ES and uh, just uh, uh, stay on that trade because there is a resistance here. Then there is a pullback re-entry, and then here is your target. So this, if you are on um, on an auto trade, you will have almost the same because the auto trade on on a bar close. Uh, any auto trade on Ninja Trader is on a bar close. So it's a plus minus couple takes, but um, if you are using the fully automated trade, you will be entering the price and the target, and it's finished. But when you are using the ATM on the chart, uh, you have a new updates on the targets, you have a new updates on the re-entry, you have a new updates on... So this one here is much more... Um, uh, in a way, uh, it's like you are trading yourself, a human trading is unlike the other basic full automated trading on this full automated trade, and once you hit the target one and one plus one, the two, and then when uh, there is a plus two, you take a trade and then you exit. And if it's uh, the market a chop, you are in trouble. And if this market is running, uh, you will be making tons of money on those. But uh, this one here is a little bit more complex than, not complex for the trader, it's complex uh, equation or a formula uh, because this one here is actually doing the thinking for you and is taking this trade on your behalf. So this one here is not like any normal auto trade where you just fear it in and start taking those trades. This is calculating the highs, the lows, the high time frame. Uh, there is a lot of equations in there. And then it's taking those trades and the trailing stops are based on FIBS. The FIBS comes in your package uh, for uh, this system here. Uh, we have FIBS on, um, on our web. They cost $35. Those are promotion. We're not making any money out of them. And uh, those are the FIBS. The ones cost $35 a month. And every trader has to have uh, his line to the server with those because you get a lot of updates from the server on those here. That's why it's costing us money for every trader on the server with it. But uh, there is a plenty of FIPS in your package uh, that uh, can do almost the same. <coughs> Uh, we had uh, also we have uh, we have covered a lot about for people don't have a lot of money we do not need to trade CL Russell gold DAX 6e silver we don't need to we have covered that yesterday that if you follow one ES one Nasdaq one down zones I don't know if tomorrow the ES is going to make money. I have no clue if the NASDAQ is going to make. Uh, if you look at those videos, practically every day, we have an average around 70, 80 ticks on the NASDAQ. Practically every day. I cannot guarantee anything in this business. But I don't know if tomorrow is going to be flat, the NASDAQ, or it's going to make 200 ticks. I have no clue what will happen tomorrow. But as an example right now, we have a new signal on the YM, minus one tick. We have plus 74 ticks, plus 10 ticks on the ES. So that is giving us enough bread to say, okay, we got it for today. We stop it today. And without the greed and being aggressive in the market, and we say, okay, we're calling it off. Because what you are doing, you are hedging the market. You're not 
uh, concentrating on one uh, instrument and uh, making a bet on one instrument. So you have uh, three horses in the race and each one of them has one lot. So if one of them did go south today, the other two, this is a very healthy for the future to uh, to hash the market and stand using all your lots in one um, uh, in one instruments. Uh, this way, uh, it's gonna uh, limited your your uh, your losses on the trade. Uh, let me. Uh, see if I can put the uh, YM on the other side. Uh, there is a lot of questions about uh, uh, the DAX and I will be covering the DAX because yesterday we were talking about management the DAX and uh, why I find the DAX. A lot of traders do not use the DAX because they are unaware of the potential on the DAX. Uh, but uh, let me show you uh, every day I when we start the web uh, I cover what happened to my one minute DAX. Uh, on Monday we had a holiday I did not even bother to open the computer on Tuesday the, the DAX made 2000 uh, yesterday made 2000 uh, and today made 2300 plus minus I don't remember all the numbers but you can uh, look at uh, uh, as an example on Tuesday uh, the the DAX uh, on uh, 288 ticks made 4,000. Uh, let me show you something. Uh, the DAX uh, today the one made 4,000 on Tuesday. If you look uh, on the uh, if you look on uh, it was I think it was on Tuesday made 4,000. And I think it was the 244 ticks. If you see, uh, when I went and talked to you about it, and I told you I'm using the one minute, this is I'm trying to go back to where I'm saying about consistency. Uh, this, uh, I think it was 244 or 288 ticks, or they're both made 4,000 on Tuesday because the market was running good. Uh, yesterday, uh, the DAX did not make it the 244. And if you notice, I went into the chop and actually is going in the circle today. So that's exactly if you go back to the videos uh, on Tuesday, when I presented the, the chart on the DAX and it's showing 4,000 on one trade. I said maybe it's more money than the one minute, but I personally like the one minute because there is a consistency in the one minute. And the three minutes, they are uh, very consistent. The, the one minute or three minutes because some people think uh, the, uh, the, the one minute is too little for the DAX because the DAX moves a lot. Why the DAX? I like the DAX because what you can make in one day on the DAX, it takes you one week to make on an ES. One of the secret in the, in the trading where a lot of, a lot of amateur trading, uh, they don't understand that. The more you are exposing yourself to the market, the more chances you're gonna be losing money. Despite what system you have, uh, despite what auto trade you have, despite how much experience you have, an experienced guy knows when it's time to jump on the market and when to sit on the side. And it's not unusual for us as an older traders, sometimes we sit on the side, we don't like what we are looking at, you know, and we just wait till the first door open to jump on the market. When something is come into the high standard entry, then we accept it and then we take that trade only. For amateur trading thinking that the more he is in the market, the more money he's gonna be making, which is not true. 
they've been misled by those equations because you have to think uh, that you are sitting on a poker table and it is a matter of time uh, before you lose your money. So if you have a couple hits, you need to run away from that casino. And I'm not saying trading is a casino, but I'm trying to say trading, it has to, it comes in with a price that you have to know when to cash in and leave. So I do not jump from one, this is a, in our experience for the last eight, nine years, that's what the traders we have seen. We have developed a lot of experience, not in the trading as much as we, we, we understand how uh, I was, uh, at the beginning, I was uh, jumping left and right when I came in and find out how traders are approaching the market. I was losing my mind, uh, you know, now I start uh, uh, getting adopted to it, but um, after all those years, but uh, the same mistake by those traders underestimating the market and, um, and uh, thinking that uh, sitting longer in the market is going to make more money, which is not true at all, even if you are auto trading. One of the questions yesterday, uh, somebody sent me this and he freaked me out. We've been for the last two months talking about when the market getting stuck in a channel. What I mean by getting stuck in the channel, does mean it's getting stuck between uh, the support and resistance. Basically, this is a channel here right now, the ES, the automated trade and taking that trade. And uh, if you notice he hit the target, right? one tick shy away from the target. And now the ES is sitting, getting a stuck between those two lines, which they call a channel. So I don't know who was it. I get a lot of emails uh, and uh, he said, Sam, when you're saying it's getting stuck in the channel, does that mean uh, your YouTube channel or what you mean by your channel? And he freaked me out because I mean, why the market has to be stuck in my channel? You know, so the channel, what I'm saying, the channel means when it is stuck between support and resistance. As you see right now, this ES is stuck between the support and the resistance. This is something where a trader has to make a decision. Either cash in on the 350 or stay in that trade and try to aim the thousand dollar. It's exactly like you are sitting in a blackjack table. And uh, don't ask me, what do I think? I know, I can see, I'm going to hold on. For me, my problem with the trading is not agreed. No, my problem with my trading, I have a, I have a negative uh, uh, on my attitude, like anybody else, whether it's agreed or something. My attitude with the trading, either I'm going to grab a real... Uh, 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 takes out of that trade or I don't want it. But I'm not going to be selling out on 200. I will not settle down. I prefer to let this market go back and knock me out because I don't know when I'm going get, to get back into this trade again. So for me, if I'm trading and I am on a trade, I'm not going to sell out a good trade on $200. I prefer to walk away with plus one take and cash in on a plus one take to just pay for my broker and, and, and not to cash in right there. Because many times in my life, I have regretted when I cashed in early. So for me, I'll let, I'll let this trade go and I'm going to go back to this market and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to be nailing that something on other doors are open for me where I can find a lot of doors open for me. But maybe if you are not trained enough to trade with a trend or reversal, I can always find a trade. I can always look at reversals. I can always look at the one minute, three minutes, five minutes, and then I can always find a trade, a small trade or a big trade. But for a guy is not trained to do that. We don't want you to uh, to extend yourself, but
But then when you see a trade with the $350 like this ES, and now if we notice this ES, whoever asked me yesterday, I don't remember. Uh, this is what I mean by saying when it gets caught in the channel, not my YouTube channel, when it gets caught in the channel between the support and the resistance, and I know this market is going to go back and forth like a yo-yo trying to find, like a pinball ball, trying to find a breakout somewhere. For me, technically, I can see there is another double resistance and a mid-band coming right in conjunction with this resistance line. Immediately, I can spot it. That trade is not over. Immediately. But for the guy have no uh, uh, trained eye to see that, if you see this $350 and you're happy with it, close it, but do not go back to the trade. Do not go back to the trade. So this is what I meant by uh, the, uh, the, the, there is a lot of a question yesterday because I was covering on the DAX, why I like the DAX. If you wanted to see the three minutes, this is uh, the three minutes. It's almost the same amount, 2,300, and this one, 2,300. If we wanted it for the ticks trader, you can go use uh, as many ticks as you want on it. Every trader has their magic. This one here is 1,000. So this is a proof to you that consistency is coming between one minute and three minutes, not even a five minutes. If you want to trade the DAX one minute or three minutes, those I like the most personally, but you can do whatever you want. If this market is moving, yes, on the 288 uh, takes, you're going to be making double the amount, but we don't care about double the amount. We wanted to have consistency. A lot of questions yesterday asking me about what I have said about the DAX, why I like the DAX, why I prefer for a guy don't have this patient to look at the market if there is today chop market or not. This is a very good advantage to trade the DAX. First of all, the DAX, you have to trade it early in the morning. Deutschland uh, time, you know, in Frankfurt. So when the German open in your local area, when Germany is open, the stock market. You wait 15 minutes and you turn on your swing trading on the DAX. You can use a limited order or a market order is, is irrelevant, you know, because it doesn't matter whether this one takes slippage on the swing trading. Rules number one on the DAX or on any other market, I do not like to swing trade on Mondays, period. Let me trace it back. A lot of traders on Sunday evening, and I can see that from our server, a lot of traders, I don't see their computers, but I can see they are using our system. Uh, on Sunday evening, they start using the system. And this is the worst kind. On Sunday evening, you should not start anything with your trading. Stay with your family. Take a break from your trading. Uh, have your uh, head clean for Monday morning. Do not trade overnight on Sunday. Whether you are auto trading, manual trading, voodoo trading, banana trading, don't do it. You're going to end up in losses. Do not turn on any auto trade on Sunday evening. When the market comes back to Ninja Trader, when your data come back, leave it alone. Stay with your family. Have some quality time with your with your family, and get your head clear and ready for Monday. Don't overwork yourself with your head. Second things you need to know is you should not be swing trading on Monday. Some Mondays they're gonna be extremely good days. I'm not gonna argue with that. But you should not be swing trading if you don't know what you're doing. You need to stick with the scalping on Mondays for a lot of reasons. Let me just make sure what's going on in here on the ES. Okay, you can see why the ES 
because it was a mid band uh, double resistant and now we start getting paid for our patient you know and now we're not walking away with the 300 or 350 if anything less than 500 i do not actually call it a trade honestly if you want to get down to it and you want to get down into the battle with it and get your hands dirty and move i mean if it's anything less than 500 it's wasting time because you don't know when the next trade is good so if we can make one trade make 500 then we are done for today so uh, i need to cover about the decks because i have a lot of uh, when we said about the management with the decks why the decks not, not the es so on the decks first of all on monday i will not use the swing trading on monday you can try it on a sim on monday and if you like on the sim and a live trade on the market order it will be plus minus one tick period done so between a live trade and a sim because this one is a market order stand getting uh, 23 27 53 it's gonna be probably 23 27 you know without the 53. so there is gonna be a couple takes a uh, slippage maybe or maybe not you know especially on mondays you're not gonna get uh, that much so on monday try it on a sim if you like it but i do not recommend to swing trade any kind of market on mondays not unless if you know what you're doing we can use the scalper or we can use the price action on monday and it chase the nasdaq whether you have ten thousand dollar in your account or you have million dollar in your account or you have a three thousand dollar in your account it's irrelevant monday you have to approach this market carefully and maybe i will take uh, one nasdaq one es or one ym when the market is open or if i want to i can scalp the market on monday but i will try to stay away from swing trading on tuesday when the the person open in the Deutschland at your own local time you can start your decks 15 minutes after uh, Frankfurt open two things you can do on the decks without getting in trouble try to have 2000 a week limitation not a daily limitation weekly limitation in another word on tuesday i come in i have one losing trade and a good trade on tuesday and nailed 2327 what you should do wednesday thursday and friday go on a sim try to study the market more try to learn the decks more you're done your job for that week is done let me tell you one thing how many people can earn two thousand dollar on an es in one week constantly not too many the majority are using normal indicator have zero prediction of the market and they are all over the places 90% of amateur trading, they, they don't even dream about 1,000 a week on the ES, especially the ES because it's become institutional, uh, a very fast uh, market and a very tricky market to trade, even when the market is so slow. So if you nailed it on Tuesday 2000, you're done. Because if you're going to continue on the DAX, if you you might make 10,000 that week and you might lose 10,000 this week. If you're asking me if tomorrow the DAX is going to make 2,000, 1,000 or it's going to be in a hole for 1,000, I tell you, I have no clue. So if because we don't know what will happen tomorrow, I cannot risk my profit and put them on a poker table one more time. It is a poker table especially for a guy refuse to learn the market do not have time 
and you then you know then you have to accept the outcome of that Marcus movement. You cannot have it both of way, my friend. You either accept this market the way it is. If this market moving, you're going to be like a Santa Claus today. And if the market is not moving, you're going to be like anybody else worldwide did not make money. You have to accept the fact. So if this one on Tuesday made money, you need to start Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday uh, to, to learn more and trying to see which days are good. So maybe you can add one more day a week. Now, if we started on Tuesday and uh, this one here has a limit, $1,000 down on $1,000 up. In other words, uh, the, the auto trade on this one here is 1,000 minimum uh, the, the auto trade will stop at $1,000 losses and a $1,000 daily target. However, if this market move into your direction, it's not going to stop at 1000 It's going to stay on that trade because it's in your favor. So if you are trading this one today and your target is $500 or $1,000, you're still going to get the same amount of money because the market was going to your favor. So let's say you came in on Tuesday and uh, you didn't make it. You are in a hole for 1,000, okay? It might happen tomorrow, it might happen uh, next Monday. How would I know? Then uh, already now you, uh, you have a three days in a trading that week. That's mean you gotta be careful. Why? If we come in on Tuesday and we lost 1,000 and the auto trade is stopped, you can uh, reload it and try one more time, I would not recommend that. Or the second day, the market has to run to cover Tuesday losses. So now we are breaking even, then on Wednesday and Thursday, we need to go ahead and do the 2000 or the 1000 and stop. It is very tricky uh, that if we can manage one winning day a week. Listen, guys, one winning day a week. That is 8,000 euro or $8,000 a month without doing anything. You will have bad weeks. Last week, uh, I had a bad week. Uh, Monday, I didn't. It was last week, yes. Monday, I didn't uh, like the market. Tuesday, I didn't like the market. Wednesday, I made money. Thursday, I lost money. Friday, I made little money. So th this is a turbulence. Uh, sometimes you will have in the market, especially around uh, summers, uh, around Christmas, when the kids are out on a holiday, you need to be on a holiday with the kids. So. Uh, management is more important than trading and 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 uh, being a greedy on the DAX can uh, can make you rich and can make you poor at the same time. So what I'm trying to do, we can simplify it. There is no uh, no uh, optimization, forward testing, back testing, but the only thing we need to do is try to manage that one. So if we can nail on Tuesday 2000. You should not be trading uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, especially Friday. I hate Fridays because Friday, you're going to have a weekend. So Friday, you have to be approaching Fridays really carefully also because uh, if you have a bad Friday, it's going to put you in a, in a lousy mood the whole weekend. You're not going to enjoy this weekend. So... Approach uh, Fridays carefully and try to to hit your target before the Friday so we can relax on a Friday. And on a Friday, we can be a little bit picky what we want to trade. Maybe I will take one trade on the NASDAQ. If it's going to make it, it's going to make it or break it. I don't care. It's $5 per take. The NASDAQ average every single day between 70 and 200 takes. I will take one trade. I will take it easy. If it makes it, it makes it. If it don't make it, still I'm into the plus. This is the only way 
you can build consistency not to be all over the places. There is a lot of doors open in the market. You can, you can nail it. You can keep your eye. Whether you are an advanced trader or you are just a normal trader, there is always in the trade and you have to develop your own trading style. Don't copy anybody's trade. Don't copy my trade. Don't copy your neighbor trade. And a hell no, do not let anyone use your money. They say, I will trade for you. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't. It's wasting time. Try to pick up your own fish. Take your time and 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 uh, do the trading. Um, right now is a bit slow, but uh, let's see what uh, happened based on those uh, signal entries we had. Yes, from the last signal we nailed this one here is based on one contract, one minute. Twenty nine takes 161 takes on the Nasdaq YM 13 takes four takes from the entry signal all of them from that entry signal not all day long on and on all the way down to the silver so right now a total of 278 takes based on the last signal based on one contract and you can imagine yourself when you are in this market for those guys have a bigger amount of money those guys they don't lose you are the guy who is with the three thousand and five thousand lose most of the money because this guy is trading those all of it you don't have to i recommend es nasdaq and ym those are affordable you can trade them all for for less than uh, uh, three thousand uh, for your broker and you know and um, you can try NASDAQ down zones if you're not sure about your ES and you're always I cannot say you always but uh, that is much better than to um, at least you're trying to do something better than nothing Uh, I will be covering uh, uh, the YM and the NASDAQ based on the one minute as well, but I just want to keep my eye on this uh, trade on the ES. And it is the same way coming in conjunction with the YM. Look. You hit the target, the auto trade on the YM. Mission complex is 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 finished. Look, look. But uh, we are a human, so we try to see. Maybe. We... So for the auto trade, folks, the fully automated, you're done. Right there, look to the target, you're done. But um, if you want to drag it more, this is based on one contract. And this is based on one contract. Of course, we can drag it a little bit more. Maybe, which uh, we have uh, been getting a lot of luck lately on uh, leaving it a little bit open. And uh, you'll find out sometimes you are into two, three hundred dollars more than what the auto trade calculated. So two, three hundred dollars on each instrument. Oh boy, that is very really good. Well, if you want to give me more, who the hell can I say no to it? Here we go. Go ahead, keep pushing it down. Yeah, go ahead. Because this is the target on the YM. We understood that. 
But if we can grab a couple of hundred dollars more, why not? Let's see, because the EAS has not hit the target, actually, the new target, because the chart is always recalculating a new target. On the market analyzer, you are already done and hit the target and you went home on the market analyzer. On the chart, we still get in a new updates on the new targets and a new pullback re-entry. So this is really, you know, I'm waiting on uh, Ninja Trader to get uh, their stuff together because it still is a young platform. Uh, I have something on my mind. I'm not going to say it right now. Uh, of course, we are always updating. And uh, I have an idea in my head. I'm waiting just a little stabilization on the NT8 platform. And then um, uh, we're going to be also, I have one of my colleagues. Um, uh, the trade station now they lower the prices and now they want they're trying to be competitors with uh, with ninja trader and they are offering uh, free data that's what he said so and um, they've been also a lot of trade station people asking me uh, to bring that system to the trade station and uh, I'm gonna investigate today more and um and uh, i'm sure uh you we will have also a great stability on the other platforms as well you know so we we are we're not stopping with this one we're gonna be expanding expanding and i have always uh, new ideas for that because i know that trader cannot make decision so if we can recalculate for him and then he can auto trade or ATM, he will be much better off than to just give him an auto trade and tell him have a nice life. You know, an auto trade, I mean, I was impressed because there is a lot of people that are interested in this system. And um, on that system here, whatever you're gonna get, you're gonna get. If this market moving, you're gonna make money if this market uh, is not moving. You know what? Welcome to trading. If we look at the three minutes chart, on the swing trading, it's already nail 2000. But, but I don't know if tomorrow is going to nail 2,000. I have no clue if NASDAQ is going to move tomorrow and make 2,000 on one trade. I have no clue. But I know one thing. When you are trying to use a fully automated trade, uh, the swing trading or scalping, if this market moving, you're not going to miss. And this is the biggest proof. When the market was not moving, was not making money, you can see that there are small trades. There are small trades have no impact actually on your account, but when the market is a flat, the auto trade didn't make money. So is it a puha from here to here? And is it good from here to here? The reason is good here because the market is moving. The reason is not good here because the market is flat, which is very rare you hear a trader when he's using an auto trade saying the market is flat. He said that auto trade make money, that auto trade didn't make money. Something wrong with the auto trade. In those area here, there is nothing wrong with the auto trade, but the, the market was flat. And he cannot accept that. He wanted to be making money day and night. And that is not gonna happen. Keep looking. So this is uh, the ES came in exactly to our support line at 71.25. The uh, look, you see, the auto trade will exit at this target. So it is your decision to exit that trade, or if you are a little bit stubborn like me, you say I'm gonna pull back the the stop loss a little bit, or break even plus one tick, and I'm expecting this market to go down. You know, this is uh, something for a trader to make a decision. I cannot make a decision. 
for me, I'll stay. Uh, for a guy happy with the three hundred dollars, you're not gonna go back to the trade. Then go for it. You know, close it and run. You know. So it depends on each trader's priority. Uh, let me keep covering uh, the swing trading. I will be. I'll try to cover only the minutes. I like the one minute. The rest are doing extremely well. But if the system. Working in the minutes is working on any time frame. And uh, we will uh, show all of them. This is your uh, CL. This is your 30 year treasury bond. In another word, guys, if this market moving, the market is moving. This is your ES actually on the swing trading. On that trade, 1000. You want to look at the NASDAQ? Be my guess here. Uh, this is uh, 1400 on the NASDAQ. You see, the NASDAQ is always outperforming uh, the. Very impressive on the NASDAQ. And if the one minute to three minutes made it, that's mean all of them made it. So, and when the market is not moving, guys, there is nothing could be done. Welcome to trading. Simple as that. If the market is not generating ticks, where do you want me to give you the ticks from? It's like you're trying to get a hair out of a bullheaded man. You're not gonna be able to get any. So let's keep looking here, see what's going on. That's it, it's gonna exit on the YM. If you are stubborn with the ES, you can stay or cash in. The call is yours. Uh, if you notice on the on the scalpers a couple times last week, the one the hundred fifty ticks was overriding the one minute, and today the one minute is overriding the hundred fifty ticks. Again, guys, it is management. It's not the numbers. It is management. Which one is consistent? Which one is not gonna get me in trouble? I know it's always look greener on the other side, but it doesn't matter. Eventually, one time the numbers become irrelevant. Consistency is more important. One thing, if uh, This is an ES trade on a 288 takes. And this is an ES trade on 244 takes. Practically the same. One of them made 1,125, one of them make uh, 1,025. Should I jump the second day to the 288? Because this one here, the 288 made more money? No. If you're happy with 244, stay with 244. If you are happy with the one minute, stay with one minute. Management is more important. Should I trade tomorrow uh, ES if you made tons of money today? No. Protect it. Do something. If I made 2000, should I trade the DAX tomorrow? No, go wash your car, do something else. Stay away from that. So, Let's see what will bring us the
the ES, let me see if there's anything left on that. 1000, there is nothing actually, uh, we are uh, waiting. The YM has exit, has exited and um, there is nothing on the YM. So we only have uh, the ES left. And uh, right now we are four, 438 ticks based on the last entry signal. We're gonna stay on those. I'm gonna stay quiet for a while, and then uh, we will uh, go in to get fresh coffee, uh, and uh, we'll be right back. Uh, if there's any question, uh, if there's any of our uh, uh, traders, uh, If you have any question, um, uh, I don't know, David. The question is, uh, what time Eastern time in Germany market open? You know, I don't know where you live, David. You know, just Google it at your local time. I have no idea which state you are. I know you are a member, David, but I don't remember which state you are. Uh, Fernando, I will try my best, your request to do that. Uh, is any other questions, from, if is any of our members have a question on technical side uh, for, for the trading, uh, go ahead and ask me and uh, we will be answering it. Let's see the ES where it's taking us. You know, guys, we talked about uh, those institutionals numbers every day from 11 to 12. Look at the ES. Look at the ES. We told you about those institutional numbers. You always get one and two. And now we are coming to uh, the target two, and now is 11.03. So this is a very nice entry at 71.75. If you'd like to follow that, on your uh, sim, uh, you can uh, follow that trade on 287125, long, long trade right there. Because once it hits the target too, there's a profit taken. And the market is gonna go back, retesting this number. Right there, you should be in. To the tick guys and if you are on that trade close it it's finished if you are on that trade close it please it's finished
right there. 7150. I want a clean chart. Give it time. Give it time. You see what it is? It's nothing but noises. Don't let it fool you. There is nothing. It's finished. This trade is finished, guys. I might go one bar down or something, but the trade is finished on this one here. The ES, close it, it's finished. This is nothing but noises now. Let's see. It's over, guys. It's over on the ES. Nothing. Noises. Okay, I'll go get fresh coffee. I'll be right back. Uh, for the question on the DAX, uh, most of the broker is uh, somewhere around six and a half thousand for the margin. But um, uh, for a guy, is uh, you can do your training on on the DAX, and you you stay on the Nasdaq when the market open on the price action. Don't trade anything except the Nasdaq. If you are on a low budget and 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 uh you have seen day in and a day out 
thanks God we are live every day on a YouTube. You can go through uh, all our uh, videos and you can see the performance on the NASDAQ every day without anyone calling the trade for you. The system is calling the trade for you without paying anyone uh, to be in the trading room and charging you arms and a leg. So uh, this is uh, uh, affordable, the NASDAQ. It's not at the beginning of anybody is trading. It's not the amount of money you have in the account. It's how much you know. And uh, if you don't know anything about this market or you could be, uh, you have been trading for 10 years and no success. It's not unusual to see a lot of traders uh, that have been trading for 10 years because they are all over the place and or maybe they didn't get a system they can comprehend. I don't know. But uh, not every trader uh, uh, is going to be success trader, but uh, those here, they help you uh, enter in and follow the system. You have you do, you do not have to make a decision. So for me personally, uh, whether you have 10,000, 3,000 or 100,000 is irrelevant. The money do not count because if you do not have experience, you can lose all your account in, in, in uh, one month if you have no experience. And if you are experienced trader with a little money, probably you're going to be somewhere else with your trading within in three, four weeks from now. So it is depend from one trader to another. I mean, of course, like when we said on that trade here, nothing but noises. I know there's nothing but noises. This is where uh, most of the time uh, they go a little bit above the line, below the line. They know. They know what you are doing. They know. They can see uh, your maximum stop loss is 25 takes. Uh, there is a lot of false movement in the market. They know that. You know, I mean, but if you are confirmed or believe on your entry, you stay with that entry and it's become... If you have a little patient, everything is going to look. What happened to this ES from where we said is over. The party is over. The party is over. It's finished between 11 and 12. Target 2 had happened. I tell you what is going to happen now. It's going back to retest target 1. Those every day on your chart between 11 and 12 on Friday, on the first couple hours, you should be hitting those two targets. Those two targets is for for retailers, actually. The third one, don't have, you don't have to worry about the third one. But those here, whether you are using a Renko bar, minutes, they are the same numbers. They are not different numbers if you are using minutes. They are not different, but I like to use the Renko bar because I can spot the reversal when you have a signal, I can spot reversal, you see? And now if we can see there is a buy, the signal, all of them speak in the same language on the same bar. So the short trade is over. The party is over on the short trade. Yesterday, I called the trade before we, we, we closed the, the, the live web here. Uh, there is a couple of traders who stayed on that trade. You know, the last trade we did on the ES, and it is amazing. They sent me a picture. Um, it was amazing what uh, they got out of that trade on the ES. So, I don't know. We'll see. Right now, we have... Right now we have um, 812 ticks uh, based from the last entry signal based on one contract. ES 55 ticks, NASDAQ 258 ticks, 99 ticks, YM, 30 year treasury bond, seven ticks, 83 ticks on the CL, 75 ticks on the Russell, 62 ticks on the gold, 
142 ticks on the uh, DAX. Uh, I mean, we don't have to swallow everything on this one here, but at least we can stomach the NASDAQ, ES, and YM. You know, we can stomach those. When uh, there is a turbulence in the market, we can stomach those. They're, 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 those are not really hard uh, market to trade. Uh, if the ES is a very expensive for you, then try NASDAQ YM. Why you need to trade the ES? Leave it alone, you know? It doesn't matter when you, when you go buy a pizza, they don't ask you if you got the money from ES or NASDAQ, who cares? I don't like this attitude where, you know, you say, I only, I only trade NASDAQ. A trader should be a trader. And uh, how about if a NASDAQ today is not moving? I need to find another trade. I need to find alternative. So I don't like that attitude. I only trade ES or NASDAQ or CL. No. A few years ago, we all were trading the CL. And 90% of those group we used to trade the CL with, they left the CL. All of them, 90% that left the CL. There is a time on the CL was making killing money, uh, whether you are auto trading or not. For the last couple of three years, uh, most of those traders fade out on the CL because of the instability on the CL and it require a little uh, movement. And actually, I only like the CL when I'm looking at the DAX in the morning. I don't... I'm not that much interested in the CL doing the U.S. market anymore because I find better trend on the CL doing the European market than the U.S. market. There is a lot of turbulence on the CL. If you don't know what you're doing, can bite. But uh, on the Nasdaq, five dollars a tick. Uh, you can always can stomach a bad day because you have to count bad days. If you when we try to say that to some people on the phone that you need to calculate good days and bad days, the first things they say, what's wrong with your system? Why you have a bad days? And this is the, the sad story because every system, every institutional, every system have a good days and a bad days. And anyone can say the opposite Good luck with that. Look, the CL, speaking of a witch, if we notice on that CL, on that trade is 1,820. Fair enough. Here where is, I'm having a problem with the traders. Where are you gonna get your ticks in this area here? Here the market moving, the auto trade made you tons of money. What about those area here? So the secret is we need to survive the market until we find a breakout. So we have to be cautious with our money and we have to be cautious with any kind of auto trade because the worst enemy to any kind of auto trade is a flat market like here. Some auto trade that can make you lose your whole account in this area here. If they are based on ATRs, momentums, MACDs, uh, because those ATR MACDs, they follow the market. And that here you can generate three, four bad trades. And if you are on two contract, and then some of the auto trade I have seen when we are doing the installation, some of the auto trades are there. They are on a 50 ticks basis. Uh, then on two contract, you are, you are in a hole, two, 300 ticks. So I don't think so you can survive till the breakout. You know, probably you would have stopped that auto trade long time ago. So now the auto trade hit $2,000 on that trade because the market is moving. What about when the market is not moving? How much you can stomach losses? On the NASDAQ, we're still on the same trade.
the things is what you need to look in an auto trade is the stop loss. If we look at this auto trade on the NASDAQ, we hit 537 long. And we got out of that trade on 33.50. It's not much. Then the auto trade took short trade at 35. You see that? And then got out at 38.25. It's not much. This is a three minutes chart. This is a very serious chart. Then it took a chart uh, trade on 16.75 and get out at uh, 20, uh, 24.25, yeah, 24.25, small trade. And then when the market is trending, finally you nail it. Now here is the question, is anything tradable after this NASDAQ hit or close that trade? No, it's done. The market is over. The spike for today is done. Is anything left on the CL once this trade is closed today? No. The rest of the day is going to drive you crazy. There is nothing left to trade anymore. It could be in the afternoon they get a jacket a little bit here and there. But the trend, the spike for today is done. So you cannot be auto trading all day long. The probability, if you're going to stay on that auto trade, despite you made a $2,000 on that trade, if you're going to stay in the afternoon, not protecting your profit, you're going to end up giving all your profit away. How would I know if this afternoon is going to be a good moving market or a sideways market? Nobody knows. You have to keep your eye very close on the market movement. And if you're not trained to do that, you're going to be in trouble. I'm trying to pick uh, where they have not hit the target. Here is your nest, uh, your 30 year treasury bond. 812. Here is your ES. This ES is overdue. It's 1,200 on that trade. Why? Because it's trending. Why did it make it here? Why the auto trade did not make it in those area here? Chop. Not because of the auto trade. When the market moved, the auto trade made tons of money. When the market is not moving, this is where a very fine line, and this is not my auto trade, folks. Because some people say, what's wrong with your auto trade? This is not my auto trade. This is everybody's auto trade problem. You need to survive a chop market. Not to just one auto trade. Every single auto trade dive into chop market is going to get you in trouble. So you got to keep your eye on that trade and, and make sure uh, that... Uh, uh, management in the auto trade when you see a good spike in the market you bet that the party is over on that trade this is the trade we have called uh, right now based on that chart here uh, the reversal and now it's 1124 and I told you once we hit this one here look at this now it's gonna drive you crazy. It's gonna come to, I tell you where, where this ES going. I'll tell you ahead of time where this ES going. After we hit the target to profit taking, a little noises, as, as we said, now the market is gonna play between target two, a one and two. Look, target two is 75.50. And now, and now, guys, for the guy who called me yesterday, sent me an email asking about what is the channel. This is now, you see the ES got caught in this channel between those two here. 
right now on that ES, no matter what you do, you will not be making money anymore. Why? Because that ES is going to drive you crazy the next half an hour between those two lines. This means getting caught in a channel and it's going to drive you crazy, whether you are auto trading, manual trading, any kind of trading. Now the ES is getting stuck between those two lines because right now it's 11.25. The party is over. So this is the problem. Traders don't know when the party is over. Very simple. And this is a problem for a guy who want to auto trade and do not look at the market. This is a problem for him because if a guy right now come into Open Ninja Trader, uh, if you're asking me right now how much I will invest on the ES, I'll tell you zero, nothing. So despite if you have a thousand dollar account or a million dollar account, it's not tradable in this area here. And this is the hardest part for the traders to understand. There is certain situation, a certain box, a certain area in any given market is not tradable. You need to wait till we find what they want to do with it. Not you, not I. We need to wait till and see what will happen. Now, if you mark those for the ones do not have the system, if you mark target one and target two, you will find out this one here is going to stay until the lunchtime. It might go a little one bar here, one bar here is noises, but target two hit right on time, 11.30 is finished, 11.25 is finished. And now your auto trade become irrelevant despite which auto trade you are using, is going to be become irrelevant to this market. Has no sense. And it's not going to make you money, whether you are using our auto trade or not. It's not going to make you. Actually, it's going to start losing money. Let me look at the scalper. This is the trade we called for you today, guys. Look, guys. This is your scalper one minute. It's eating banana. It's $200 down on that trade. We know why. We know why that trade didn't make it. I know why. Maybe John don't know. Maybe Mike don't know. But I know why. And this area right now. Between those two lines. It's going to eat up all your profit. If you don't know how to stop, it's going to eat up all your profit. Whether we like it, folks, or not, if you do not look at the chart, you're not going to make it in this business. You're going you're gonna to find million negative things I'm saying. At the end of the day, after six months, you're going to go back and watch those videotapes we're talking about trading. You can dismiss it. You dislike it. That's your opinion. Look. Watch the ES. It's finished. That's why that trade we took, and I call that trade like what we did yesterday before we left. And that's why I said I have a different attitude with the trading that if this trade is not going to able at least get $500 on that trade, I will do it a plus one tick. A plus one take means that trade is not costing me any more money. 
If he's going to come and knock me out, let him let him knock me out. And uh, and if this market decide to go up, I'm willing to go ahead and stay on that trade. But I'm, I will not, again, I will not use a dummy trail and stuff. I know the border on that ES. There is two options on this ES. The first option to close that trade at 76.25. This is the first option. The second option, if this market they decided to jack it up, the second target is 81 level. Final destination, open a close position. If this market in the afternoon broke those areas here, this is the final destination for this ES closing position and reopen or reversal. I already planned the trade for the whole day, not for the next minute. This trade is not costing me any money anymore. This is the way you need to look at your trade. I'm not going to walk away with $160 because $160 is going to go ahead and ignite you five minutes, 10 minutes later on to jump on another trade. And God knows if this next trade is going to make it or not. But I know that trade made it. Okay. I know that. So I have this one in my hand. I'm not going to cash in on something. I have it going to my favor and a trace wild goose after 10 minutes. So on that one here, I have three options. I can decide to take that trade, close it right there, close it here, or close it here with a reversal position. Because this one here is a no-no. And this is a confirmation right there showing you this is a very, become a very thick wall with the three major resistance in this area here. So this one here is open, close open position right there. I would like every trader to mark those numbers on your chart for the ones do not have those fibs. Mark the 7650, this is your first stop on the ES. The second stop on the ES is 81.25. Final position is 8,500. Close and open position. Try it on a sim and see where this one is taking us. If we look at the one minute movement, this is a very clean chart. If we look at the today's movement on the ES, you can see it loud and clear. We had the reversal, this one from your FIB zone. Came into the support line, stayed here for probably a good half an hour, pulled back on the resistance, break down a little bit, look, reconfirming the resistance, Break down a little bit, reconfirming, and it fell right there. Now we are climbing again. And the same story again and again. Every time we break one line, it's going to go back, reconfirm, re-entry. Look, look how accurate it is. Look. You see that? 76.50. You're going to have the same problem at 81 level. Let's look at this chart. Now it's 11.34. And the numbers is still between those two target gentlemen and ladies. And that is going to drive you crazy. The best way to do it plus one tick, you know, you either hit the jackpot or you let it rotten in hell, whatever. But at least it's a free ride. It's not costing you anything. Do not get nervous on those trades. You cover your broker $5, 
ten dollars and if it's gonna make it it's gonna make it if it's not gonna make it it's not gonna make it it's over this way you're gonna stay out of trouble and this way is gonna avoid for you to go ahead and jump in the market and take in a new trade nasdaq now the nasdaq has closed position the party is over on the nasdaq the cl is about to close 2200 it's about to finish where is the es this is the es closed right now as we speak close position 1250 not bad looking at the chart look gentlemen target two profit taken going back confirming right at this target those are all uh, they are only on nt7 at the moment we are waiting till we have a little stable uh, nt8 and then we will bring those to the nt8 absolutely but not right now <clears throat> i don't know guys but i think we are done for today uh, i hope uh, today was useful information about uh, trading uh, and uh, if you like us please give us a thumb up and uh, i want to say thank you very much for all your support and all the nice emails i got from you guys and uh, i will try to stay as long as i can uh, every day it's costing me a lot to be sitting every day two hours and uh, not doing anything but um, we'll try to keep it we'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock eastern time for the guys they're gonna stay behind the screen today the es nasdaq down zone cl the party is over so please do not get yourself in trouble right now we are at uh, 682 695 700 takes and the profit uh based on one minute it's not gonna get any better than that it's only 12 o'clock 44 takes 45 takes es 180 actually we have a lot of uh, non-members been chasing those signals and uh, they are really amazed with those uh, they are chasing it here they don't even have the system and this is 78 ticks on the ym all those new signals that were implement right in front of you guys today so one more quick look on the what did we say is going to happen to the es look Where is it going? It's going to go back to this area, driving you crazy. It's lunchtime. Nothing is going to happen. And expect to go back and forth for the next 15, 20 minutes. And it could be 30 minutes and sometimes can be extended to one hour. So now you got caught between those two numbers. And there is nothing we can do about it nothing god bless you all and see you tomorrow the same time 10 o'clock eastern time bye for now